I think the, the memories that stand out for me have been singing the team song in the dressing room a number of times, particularly after games where we probably weren't expected to win and we got up late in the game through some brilliance of some of the boys. So that's been something that's been very special uh, and seeing us play in finals again, um, you know, you never take it for granted throughout your career, you, you just never know when it might be the last opportunity to play finals cricket. Cat's been amazing um, ever since um, they, they got him over for the first year for the, for the Scorchers. He's, he's led the t team superbly um, the last two years. Um, he's played with an injury this year that most blokes wouldn't have even played a game. And not only has he played every game, but he's actually been our most successful uh, run scorer. So um, it, it shows just how tough he is and how hard he is. And I think with such a young squad that him being able to show those leadership qualities is something that everyone in our squad admires from, from the older blokes down to, to the younger guys. And I think it's a, a, an impression that he'll certainly leave on this group. It's been very nice to be part of the squad and I've been proud to, to come back and um, to see a few of the younger guys develop as well has been very rewarding as well to see the likes of guys like Jason Berendorf and Sam Whiteman and Ashton Turner this year really step up at this level and show Australia what they're capable of has been very pleasing and, and that's something that uh, you know I have very good memories of. The fans have been something that's made this competition very special as well if you said to me 15, 20 years ago when I first started playing that we'd be playing 2020 in front of you know 20,000 people week in week out during the, the summer holidays you know I would have laughed particularly in domestic cricket you know at best we used to get maybe 10,000 here on a Friday night when people come down after work so to do that regularly now is, is something very special it's great for the young guys to experience that because it'll hold them in good stead if they ever go on to play for Australia and play in front of big crowds. <laughs> Oh, Kat and I go back a long way. Um, I remember when we both joined the state squad, they set up a WA Institute of Sport and uh, they indicated that, well, the three of us, there was Huss as well, Mike Hussey, and um, we we'll touted as the, the next batsman coming through, uh, the three of us, and they also thought that we could all bowl a bit of leg spin. So uh, Kat and Huss went down the batting route and I ended up down the bowling route, but Kat O is probably up there with the top five toughest players I've ever played with. Um, it's an absolute privilege to play with him. Yeah, look, uh, you never say never in this game. Well, I must admit I never thought I'd play three years of the BBL because the first year of the BBL I was going to have six weeks off during the summer and it wasn't until late in the piece that Mickey Arthur contacted me and knew my family was here and suggested I should have Christmas with my family here in Perth and play a little bit of cricket for six weeks that I made the decision to come here. So it's sort of panned out really well, I've really enjoyed being a part of it all um, and look who knows, you never know, I'm just about to start a new job but um, it might be able to balance both if that's the case but I'll, I'll have to weigh it up, I don't think I can make a decision just yet, um, you know you've still got to be able to contribute, you've still got to be able to um, go out there and perform and that's something that you know I guess hopefully I'll know by the end of this tournament and moving forward whether it's the right option or not. It's one of those things you um you go through so much with someone and realising that it might be the end of the road, uh, it's sad but happy. Mm. Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, it's, it's great that we can uh, finish our careers with the Perth Scorchers and hopefully we can both go around again. Mm.